right a lot to talk about this bargain of a processor the Intel Xeon E5 2640 which will cost you the big amount of yes you best you guessed it between 28 to around 30 pounds depending on how much postage you'll pay on eBay these will have to be picked up from eBay because they're obviously um, server processors um, that have been used in a server system now I will apologize first of all for the it's not so bad at the minute but the darkness of the uh, video this particular camera although it shows up as being bright as I'm filming on the screen does seem to output a little uh, dark now I can try and adjust that in the uh, editing program I'll see if we can get it a little bit brighter but we'll see um, about that um, this processor is obviously a bargain there's some people raving about the E5 2670 which is in the same uh, stable if you like the same uh, group little grouping of processors and that processor was very good as well and it is good and it is a good value processor that processor cost um, about seventy dollars they said which is it's actually around about seventy pounds as well over here so it's a little bit more um, unless of course we we buy it from America then you could pay about sixty sixty odd dollars for uh, sixty pounds for that sixty dollars man sixty pounds uh, over here um, there's other pro another processor which is the same that twenty six seventy was obviously um an eight core sixteen thread processor with the another eight uh, hyper threads now there's also the e five twenty six fifty that's another eight core with another with another 16 thread with an with another eight hyper threads um, but that's only clocked a, a, a lower two gigahertz compared to the 2.6 of the 2670 now this processor here that we've got the one that I'm touting is a real bargain and an even better bargain than the 2670 at 70 dollars is obviously about a 28 pound CPU uh, obviously it's cheaper we know that from the cost but the thing is, this processor is—it's not an eight-core. It's a six. It's a six-core. It's clocked at 2.5 gigahertz, so it's only 100 megahertz um, below. But it's—it's it's, it's got a decent level ca cache on board. Um, but it's so it's obviously higher in than the two, the, the, the 2650 uh, above it in speed although it doesn't have the same amount of cores however it does have another six hyper threads so it's basically a 12 uh, thread processor which is still better than the i uh, the equivalent i5s with four cores so it's better than just the the core i5s with the four threads only and the core i7s with the four cores and the the extra four um, hyper threads to make it up to eight threads so it's still got more uh, going for it than those um, and in the real world you, you don't really tend to use the 16 you don't even tend to use the 16 threads of the other but you don't even really tend to use all 12 um, of these you would think most of the time in benchmarks all three of these processors um, the, the 2640, the 2650 and the, the 2670 all perform pretty much identically when they're using the full um, the full power of the CPUs itself. The um, the CPU um, twenty six fifty and the twenty six forty are actually much pretty much identical. The uh, extra threads um, on that processor are kind of uh, nullified by the cache and the higher 2.5 gigahertz clock speed on this processor. The 2670 does just ever so slightly um, outsmart both of the uh, this the 2640 and the 2650, but it's only ever so slightly. Um, I'm talking ever so slightly and that's probably only because it's got the extra 100 megahertz on there um, that's not saying that we don't know with a good 
um, X79 motherboard. They'll have to be. They are an X79 uh, chip, LGA 2011 um, socket, and you will need one of those motherboards to run this chip. Uh, this chip um, and and the others, obviously. Now, I forget what I was going to say. Then the um, yeah, the performance levels are identical virtually. Now we don't know how much, how much uh, like I said, we could overclock this chip. We might even be able to make up the speed. So if we can, if you can overclock that just a little bit, it might even edge the 26, um, the, the 26 uh, 70 that previously uh, people have been raving about. Um, the re the reason f the reason for that being that gaming obviously is with the angle we're coming from because you won't really need to upgrade uh, like I've got an i7 um, at the minute so wouldn't really need to upgrade for anything other than that you know it's going to do uh, office and web surfing and everything just fine uh, just like a lot of all uh, like you, even the core two duos and everything like that are, uh, are decent enough for that kind of work like, um, we're not going to be up you know, upgrading for anything other than the, that game situation. Now, these tend to compete with the um, the i5 6600 and um, the the i7 above that. Um, is that the uh, is that the um, 6700K? Um, I can't think now at the minute. I'll probably put it in down here. Uh, all these CPU model numbers are coming through my head. Um, when it comes to gaming. And obviously, it's only a thirty-pound uh, chip compared to you know a, a two hundred and thirty-pound um, uh, odd pound uh, i7, probably more, or um, you know even an i an i5, um, or should we say even the i3, um, sixty-one hundred is a hundred and thirty odd pounds. Um, this is just the thirty odd pounds off it, and it's faster than that chip. Um, it's a bargain. Uh, there's no, there's no two or three ways about it. Yeah, it's a second user chip, but it's been in a machine. It's been in a server in a bit in a in a company um, for the past couple of years. Um, what will happen is the companies will, um, you know, they'll the, the 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 new technology, the new processors will come out, the new new Xeon or Opteron um, from AMD processors will come out, and they'll want to change that. Company will come in. Uh, technicians will um, change up the stuff for the new uh, equipment, and then they'll say to them, "We well, can take the old components away and either dispose of it or whatever. We don't want it." Uh, and then they strip them down, then and then they'll sell them on eBay for like a cut down price. Don't forget, this was a th over a thousand pound, and the other ones uh, that we talked about, over a thousand pound processor just a couple of uh, years back. So um, you know it's a grand in your hand, really. Um, retail, obviously, they're still going to be fairly expensive to buy because the people are going to want to get that um, wholesale cost back um, that they paid for it. So you know you're probably looking at close to around 800, maybe even uh, with some of them that I've discounted them down, they're probably not going to go down lower than four, three hundred. So on eBay, have a look on the the, the second user market with these for this project. Um, Nice little pro uh, cheap project, high performance machine for what it is. Um, absolute bargain uh, at the minute in my my eyes. The uh, alongside with the other uh, chip I'll talk about in a minute, which is the the, the basically a Xeon equivalent to an i7, which is the I think it's the E5 1620. Is it? Um, they're clocked quite highly, but they're only four cores and four hyper threads. Exactly the same as um, so eight threads in total. Exactly the same as an i7, but they are quite high clocked. So when it comes to gaming, uh, you might see um, uh, about 3.6 gigahertz. You might see see a better, um, you know, improvement level in performance. However, in, in a lot of the modern games, they do use a, a hell of a lot of the threading um, on the multi-threaded processors. I've looked at some. Um, Difference between that processor and these Xeons with the higher core, uh, the higher core rate and thread rate, and there's basically no difference between the two. Even when they're this Xeon that I'm talking about, the i7 equivalent, 
is overclocked to about five gigahertz. There's not that much. In, there's not that much in it. But again, they're only about four forty pounds, something like that, thirty-eight forty pounds. So a little down the road, it might be worth me uh, with a little project picking one of them up. Beans I've got beans. It's exactly the same uh, motherboard. Just swapping them over. And, s and checking the performance of that and the overclocking and things like that of that CPU as well. That's that's another good one to pick up. The um, 2500 lot we said if you can't find one of these, the 2500, uh, the the 24, all, all, all these bleeding model numbers. The E5 2650 um, is about 50 pounds. So then that's that's cheaper than the E 2670. But it's um, it's still not um, you know as it's uh, you know it's, it's still not as cheap as this one the 2640. But the two processors that's why this one is such a bargain in my eyes and why I'm championing it is such a bargain because in my eyes if, for, you know for 28 pounds um, it really is a bargain. It's exactly the same performance as the next one up, which is uh, even on the second user on the eBay on the market is about fifty pounds. Um, you know, because the the extra bump in in core speed, two point five gigahertz makes up for the extra uh, missing threads, and then performance um, benchmarks they both perform bang on pretty much equally. Um, you know, between the two, obviously this will be better in. Um, single threaded stuff but like we talk about single threaded stuff half of the single threaded stuff don't want to work on um, Windows when it talks to games and things like that half of the single threaded stuff doesn't want to uh, work on Windows 10 some of your older stuff that you've got uh, a lot of it won't even run on 64-bit Windows 7 because uh, I've tried and the you know I think it's was it a Warcraft game or something like that something that uses really old engines are, uh, are only going to be using one and, um, core or make use of only up to two cores and um, you know it's, it's very few and far between these days and the only other apps are going to be like those uh, freeware or the um, open source apps they um, do tend to um, you know just stick to one core and uh, the processors are going to be that powerful anyway these days that they're going to absolutely blitz through anything like that anyway um, whether the turbo um, uh, boost, which is, helps that out anyway, is on or, or you've deactivated it anyway, you should cut through the apps like butter, um, you know, processors of this era anyway. So you shouldn't really worry this day and age about uh, single core performance. I think it's all uh, it's all a bit of a baloney to a certain degree now. Really looking at the full uh, performance of the processor itself and the multi cores we're moving in. But you can also look at that as multi-core to a point, because you know there's games out there even now that won't make use of you know more than four cores to, to, to some degree, which is why some people say you might as well be better off buying um, a, a cheaper i5 um, than an i7, because they get if you're buying it for gaming, because it's not going to use more than the four cores. Um, what you're paying extra for because you've got um, the extra hyper threads on top of the four cores, it's not going to use them. Well, whether it's going to use that's what I say, whether it's going to use um, all those 16 uh, threads of the other two Xeons, or whether you've still got a, a higher uh, core count 12 uh, thread, 6 core, and 6 hyper thread. Um, on this, this is probably the best, the better value of this and the 16 thread ones because if you know if it's not really going to use, um, you know, an i7's um, 8 thread, what's it going to do with a when it's got 12, um, you know, compared to the other ones which are a bit more, yes, they might be better for things like rendering uh, and things like that, but for, for most average use, I don't really see much point in going over the 26. The 12 threads of the 2640. Um, You've got more there than uh, than the Core i7, so it's better than the Core i7 in that respect. So you've got them to expand into if you wish to, but you've also got the um, you know the uh, your straight cores, your straight six cores. Um, 
and the four cores obviously if it doesn't use the extra, the extra two to uh, whatever game you're using that's only going to make use of four cores so you don't really need to lay out put the extra outlay the 70 pounds on the um, the 26 uh, 70 so that's what really makes me think this is the champion bargain chip at about 28 to 30 pounds and um, whatever that is in dollars it was probably might even be about uh, 15 dollars is it you know somewhere between 15 and 20 dollars perhaps uh, I'll probably put it down here just there um, so that's the real uh, performance uh, bargain at the minute now obviously you will need an X90, X79 um, chipset motherboard LGA2011 to run that, it is DDR3 DDR3 RAM like me if you've got some lying around to use that you can use 8 gigabytes at the minute but DDR3 is a lot cheaper than DDR4 so I can probably pick up uh, another bit more and boost that up to about 16 um, you know for a few uh, extra coppers um, it's really a fun project, a really cheap project to get a real uh, good performing um, system going.